All right, good morning, guys. Uh, today we're going to just discuss, it's really early, it's about five o'clock in the morning. I just got done milking, but the whole purpose of this video is kind of talk about the pros and cons of hand milking versus uh, a milking machine. So let's, uh, let's talk about that today. <laughs> Good morning. Um, again, it's it's early. We just got done milking, but I, I just wanted to kind of talk to you a little bit about pros and cons of hand milking versus using a, a milk machine. Um, conventional milking now, there's no one that's actually hand milking anymore other than homesteaders, people who have a family milk cow, uh, kind of like myself or, or other homesteaders that may have one or two cows or have time to, to just spend milking. Uh, personally, uh, I personally like hand milking. I enjoy it. I think it's better for the cow. I think that it's more um, sustainable. I think it's one of those things where you're not depending on electricity. You're not depending on any kind of pulsation. You're being more like what she's used to with the cow. So for uh, most of the time, people are, are used to using uh, milk machines. Uh, I've talked to a lot of older guys who uh, who I work with who grew up on, on milk farms and dairy farms and how it's amazing how in our area we had 30 or 40 or 50 milk farms or dairy farms uh, within a 20 mile radius and now we have maybe four uh, just it, it went down in our area but um, you see a few people that have family milk cows and most of the time they do hand milk now I personally like to hand milk I enjoy hand milking uh, but it is strenuous it's you know I'm gonna spend 45 minutes or so milking uh, my cow does about two gallons of milk a day uh, so you're gonna be there for 30 to 45 minutes and of course the prep time so you're you're hour hour and a half uh, so that's why I get up at 4 4 30 and, and hand milk now let's talk about what um, what we're really discussing today you have seen this pump this pump is a pump that is, is sold on Amazon uh, um, this pump is made overseas and they ship them to these companies there's probably 10 different versions of it on Amazon it's the same one now, uh, pros and cons, that's what we were talking about. Uh, pros to hand milking. You don't depend on anything but yourself. Um, that is a major pro because there's no electricity, there's nothing that you have to worry about uh, other than yourself. Uh, you hurt your hand, you hurt your arm, you better have someone else who can hand milk. Uh, my wife, my son, uh, my daughter, who can all, can milk. They've all milked before but they've never milked two gallons worth and just continuous strenuous milking. So um, that is a pro that you don't depend on anything else because you're sustainable, uh, but that is actually a con as well because no one else, unless they're used to milking, unless they've milked plenty of times, uh, they may not can do it. Uh, if you have a backup plan or you have an older gentleman who milks or you have someone else in your family who's used to it, great. I'll be honest with you, if you have a secondary person helping you or you have a spouse who's used to it, or let me say this, or a friend, because guess what? You have to go places. You don't want to be tied to your farm always. If you have someone who can help you that's not family or if someone that can help you that's not immediate family in any way, I would hand milk. I'm just telling you that because I, I enjoy it and I think it's better for the cow. Now, here's why we have invested in a farm. Um, if you watch my very first video of, of buying this cow, I thought this was the way to go. She was coming from a milk farm that was only a milking once a day, which is what we were going to do. So I was thinking, if I don't have to do anything different, she'll be used to this milk pump. Uh, I have hand milked her, however, I've never hand milked two gallons. So I was thinking, this may, this may benefit us more by buying this pump. So we bought this pump. Um, it's a, it was about $500 on Amazon. Um, and I said, hey, this is going to be awesome. Now, <laughs> this thing, I was stubborn. I read reviews and there were some that had five. Oh, perfect milker. There were some that had one. It quit, broke after it got here. You know, I'll be honest. I would not recommend this milker. Um, you'll see it on Amazon. It looks just like this. This, this gorgeous blue color. It's really pretty. Uh, and then your, your actual milk bucket along with... Uh, your actual claw these pretty yellow tires it looks identical to this online i'm just telling you I, i'm gonna tell you this don't buy this pump unless you want to work on 
Um, I had $500 in it, so therefore I was going to make it work. Now let's talk about yeah. this. Say you're stubborn like me and you say, oh, I can make it work. I can buy this one on Amazon. Well, so what you got? Pros to a milk machine first, and then we'll talk about this wonderful, awesome blue milker that I've got. Um, pros to a milk machine. Uh, we went to the gathering. The gathering was in South Mississippi, so we were able to go to the Deep South Gathering. Um, ran into VW Family Farms, who was uh, using a milk machine, and they had to modify there. So we were trying to figure out how we could modify ours because it was not working. But that morning, I milked at 3.30 just so we can make our way down there. Now, there's the kicker with hand milking. It's hard to find someone to hand milk. If you, unless you just know someone automatically or you know a guy who would come in for you and help you, um, again, you're, you're stuck milking. Therefore, I couldn't go to the Shindig. We didn't go to the Great Appalachian uh, Homesteaders Conference. We were not able to go to Baker Creek. Um, we were not able to do those things because we couldn't find a milker to come in while we were gone. Uh, now, we are going to uh, the Pratt Family Homestead Hootenanny, and we are going to M.I. Gardner to visit up there. And then we are also going to uh, go to um, uh, two more conferences, of course, Homesteaders of America, and we're going to try to make a conference out west. Now, how can I do that? It takes no talent to run a milk machine. I mean, it really doesn't. If you've ever just, if you can turn an on switch, and you're used to being around cows. Now, if you're not used to being around cows, then it might freak you out a little bit, but my cow runs right in the stanchion. So, it, there's no talent to hooking up a milk machine. There's no strenuous effort. Pretty much, it is what it is. So, my thought was, hey, if I buy a milk machine and it works, it won't wrap me up because I have plenty of beef cow friends and, and ranchers and, and little mini farmers who could easily come in and run a, a pump. I mean, you turn it on. How hard could it be? Well, awesome pros there. Cons, you have to depend on energy. So my stanchion now has a plug there. Um, and then also you have to depend on your pump working. If your pump doesn't work, can you hand milk? there's a question for you. Make sure you always hand milk because don't depend on this thing. Uh, there was two mornings where we've had some major storms where the power was out, so guess what I hand milked? And I'm used to it, so it was no big deal. Now let's talk about this milk machine. Another video, I'll show you how it works, but pros and cons. Now let's, I'm gonna kind of turn the camera around and we'll kind of talk about it for a little bit. It's a milk machine, so it takes no talent to run this thing. Cons. This machine is, is put together, and I'm gonna make this word up, crappily. <laughs> it is terrible, uh, but I have modified it, and I'll kinda tell you what I've done different to make it work. So, let's go through it. You see it sitting in a big dolly. Unless you have this awesome milk barn that's on pure concrete that is smooth as a baby's bottom, it's not gonna work. So we had to turn around and buy this part for it to go in. So now, not only do I have $500 in the milker, I have $200 in the cart, so $700, so again, we're going back to the fact of, is it smarter by the other one? These little yellow wheels, they're not even really, they're not right, and they're so thin, you can't really roll against anything, so uh, I had somebody tell me, well, why don't you just change out those wheels? Well, you can, but the way it's made, it's made for those wheels, so if you change it, you got to kind of modify the whole little axle system, so, um, this, you, you need some kind of buggy to put it in unless you're on pure concrete. Um, now, let's talk about two more things. Uh, this is actually your pulsator pump coming in right here. Um, comes into your, your bucket actually on the top. So, the pulsator. As you see this, this rubber flange, this O-ring, I've replaced that twice already. Um, I've got it where I've got it so tight on there that it's not losing much suction uh, that way. Again, everything here, the bad thing is it's hard to find parts. I've kind of had to go to an electric company and, and kind of modify little things to make this thing work. But this thing pops out all the time. It's got oil coming out here. So what you've got to learn to do is make sure your gear oil is in the bottom down here. There's a little gear oil knob. So you want to make sure your gear oil is always full because it's going to help pump it, move your, your, um, your true pulsator to actually pump it and make this gear work. Now, you see, you need to keep a gasket or two on hand. That's like, I think, a four inch gasket. I keep them on hand so that way it, can lose, it won't lose suction. Now let's talk about that. You have your main cup that just makes it breathe. It's got a vacuum in here that kind of pushes up and down. So that's where your suction comes through right here. Now these hoses come with the machine. 
Um, now, I'll be honest with you. Some of them I had to modify. Go to Home Depot, go to uh, you know Ace Hardware, go to Lowe's, buy some better hoses. You can buy plastic hoses from those locations and they're gonna be a better quality. These actually kind of smell a little bit, so that's why we went and changed those, those lines out. Uh, you're talking about 50 bucks. Um, so again, another 50 bucks into it. But, but again, you, you wanna make sure it's clean. Now that's, that's one of those things that I struggled with. I told my wife, I said, you know, Ms. Mack, I said, here we are hand milking and we're running now milk through these, these plastic lines from you know, Asia. Are they any good? So I went, I went and bought new lines, not saying they were any better, but they were just a better quality line. So um, I, that's just what I did. You don't have to do that, but um, it does keep it in a closed system. So a pro is you, your milk never, it leaves the cow, goes through your claw, goes in this whole system here and goes right to your bucket. So you're, you're, you're never exposed like you are when you hand milk. So I will say that, that is a huge benefit. That's one of the biggest things my wife likes. So that way the cow's not kicking around, not moving hair, not throwing hair, not throwing dirt nothing's going in your milk because it's in a closed system so that is a major plus so anyways here here we go here's your your vacuum gauge now you want to be at 0 0.4 0 0.5 that's kind of what they want to tell you or 0 0.04 0 0.05 excuse me that is the money right there you have to go through all this now they say just turn it upside down and it will pressure itself so let's 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 just show you that but see turn it off. They say turn this upside down and it will pressure it because it keeps itself off. Okay. Alright. As you see that they didn't go up too much. Unless you kink off every one of these vacuum hoses coming in, it won't work. I've tried it. I, we man, we worked with this thing. It would not suction like it's supposed to. So I, I so then I was like, well, do we have enough here? There's a ball bearing in here that would keep oil. Is it losing suction somehow? Well, the whole problem is because of this pulsator, because of this pump, because of there's so many lines, you're going to seep enough air out to where you can't get a suction. So, so about fourteen, fifteen to twenty dollars. I paid eighteen dollars for these. These little caps are worth more than the milk machine. Why do I say that? Because these caps helps you keep all your suction off. I just bought these online. I think I bought these on Amazon too. They go right in the end of your, um, your actual milkers and caps it off. Now, when you have those in there, it builds up pressure in no time because there's a closed system operating. So then once I show you how it operates um, on the next video, you will see how basically I take one out at a time and put it right on her, on her teats. So that way I never lose pressure. Now the benefit of that is, again, your closed system, but that you're building your, your vacuum up to where when you put it on the cow, it's, it's doing its suction job. So now as I've modified it, I've spent another, you know, 20 bucks on that. Bought the cart for a hundred and something dollars, or excuse me, 200 something dollars. I had to modify these lines because the lines were really just nasty and, and didn't work as well as they could. I had to find a way to kind of clean this all up you can clean it, and I'll show you that in another video, how easy it is to clean up, and it is easy. So again, closed system, clean, cleaning it up is a lot easier, so there's a lot of benefits to it, but you're gonna have to modify this style pump uh, if you want it to work for you. So this is part one. I'm just gonna show you the actual pump itself. Again, pros and cons. Let's, let's summarize this video. Pros to this milk machine. This takes no talent to run. It just takes somebody that's willing to learn and make sure they understand a cow. I mean, they need to know what a cow, how a cow, you know, acts. So that way when she's in the stanchion, they kind of know when they can put this milker on her or see if she's gonna move a little bit or what. So there's not a lot of talent to it, but you have to have some modifications such as these red clips. Uh, there are certain style claws that have built on covers, which are awesome. Uh, this wonderful, light blue dark blue machine did not come with that so i had to modify so there's a few things you will have to buy to make this machine better so overall again if, but if you're stubborn like mr mac like i am and say oh i can do it i can handle it there's some modifications you will have to make benefit to this machine is now i've got the hoot nanny set up for july i've got hoa set up for october i've got another trip set up for august 
it allows me to go and spend time with other homesteaders. Uh, helps me be able to spend time with my family away from the farm. Um, and I get to enjoy a little bit more because it takes no talent to basically hook this machine up. Um, so that, that's, that's the biggest pro is it gives me more time. It's quicker, it's easier, it allows me to get to work on time, but also it allows me to depend on someone else to help me when I need to leave the farm. And I don't leave the farm a lot, but it allows me to be able to, to have that opportunity. Here's the kicker though. Always make sure if you cannot have this pump working, your cow has to be milked. So you need to know how to hand milk. So I would, I would always tell you that. Learn to hand milk because it's a good, 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 valuable asset to have. Uh, I love to hand milk. Truly, if I was not going, if I was one of those people that never went anywhere, that never went to these conferences, I'll be honest with you, I just hand milk because that's what our plan was. Pros and cons, again, of this milking machine part one. We will talk about it a little bit more as we get it to the stanchion tomorrow. That way you can see it in operation, see the steps of using uh, the red caps, seeing the steps of me rolling this big buggy out there. I have a uh, side by side that I can use, but to be honest with you, it's just as easy to roll this little buggy out there. So we'll talk a little bit more about it tomorrow. Happy homesteading y'all.